Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Junie. Today we're gonna be drawing a batsman uh, from the game called Cricket. So uh, he'll have a bat, which uh, is this. This is a bat, a cricket bat. And uh, he, he'll have all his pads for uh, batting and he'll also have a helmet so yeah we'll be drawing a batsman today uh, and yeah I'll see you in a second ouch I do play cricket and I am a batsman. Okay guys, now we're gonna start drawing our batsman. So I'll be using a Sharpie marker, but you could use whatever you want. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start with our batsman on the side of our paper here. So we're gonna make a kind of curve here okay uh now that's a little uh to the side of the center so we can make a line coming down like that this line here could extend a little out okay then we'll go down a little bit the line and then we can come back with our line this way we'll go again down like like matching this and come this way okay so that's uh, uh half of our batsman's helmet okay so here we can make a small square okay and make a circle inside the square okay now here if you want you could make a, a circle and maybe a dot inside the circle maybe some kind of design there okay now we can make two lines coming down like that okay and we'll make a line coming up like that okay this shape kind of looks like a v a v so we can make a line coming this way now straight that way okay and we'll go down with the line we'll come back here with a straight line to connect those two because uh those two are gonna connect and and this part is a little of the kind of helmet uh, part which uh, is uh, kind of uh, protecting their mouth okay so we'll make a, a, a square inside this and make sure a rectangle and make sure it's close to the sides of this you know like that it's because uh, it's kind of a, a small uh, squares there it's something to put it's the uh, this thing is supposed to be protecting them but uh they also need a little breathing space you know so that's where there's some whole uh uh gaps in between them you can make maybe three remember to leave a little of the sides okay so now here we're gonna make a nose so we're gonna make a small c shape like that okay now uh from this side we're gonna make a line coming this way we make them a beard because normally when i see uh, quite a few of them have some beards or mustaches so we'll make a line coming this way and a line down or some of them even have just a little bit of hair down there on their chins so, uh so here made uh and those lines we just made were thick okay now on the other side, we can just make this first straight line, not, not a line, another line down because uh, uh, otherwise it's gonna go out of the helmet part. So inside, we're gonna make a mouth and the mouth we're gonna make with a thinner marker. Uh, I mean a thinner a pen. So I, I'll tell you why, because uh, uh, with a marker is really thick and there's really small space to draw a mouth. So yeah. And you don't want to get it uh, crampy, so we're going to use a small pen. If you're already using a small pen, then great, you can use this. So, we're going to make a curved line down like this. And come back like that. 
kind of triangular or sideways shape like that okay so then here we're go we can make another line coming up like that and she is straight it's not curving anyway and it's coming that out now i made my batsman a little uh kind of normal this way or you know, a little happy you can make him however you want okay so uh uh, and now I'm going to switch back to my marker. So in, in this uh, hole where we made the mouth part, and as you can see, the mouth is going through two of those kind of bar thingies, you know. It's uh, behind, so it's going through two of them. You can make a kind of black, hairy kind of parts, there, and kind of zigzag lines there, because uh, it's kind of like a, a, a beard there. At the down part there, you know, here. Uh, but make sure you don't uh, color up your uh, mouth, okay? So we're gonna make a eye here. So we can make a, a line like this and make a curve beneath it. And make we can make a small dot as the pupil. And you can make it angling any way you want, okay? We can make another line down and make the curve from the bottom make a small pupil okay and now we're gonna make a now we're gonna start with the body we're done drawing the head so yeah maybe we can make a little hair out of here maybe he has some long hair maybe so he has some hair sticking out of there so now we're gonna make a kind of curved line coming down okay uh we can make a line this way, a line down, and come back. Okay, now we're gonna make a line coming this way, and another line. We're gonna make them with a little short sleeves. Because I feel, how can you even bat with long sleeves? That would just be annoying. So, uh, but sometimes they do have long sleeves, and sometimes they also have short sleeves. You make uh, two lines here. You know, some people have those kind of things there. I'm not sure what I call it, but when you can wipe your uh, head with it when you get sweaty because it, instead of uh, using your hand, I think there's some kind. Of, it's kind of like it, it has a different texture of on it, so you can wipe your hands with it. Maybe you can make a tick mark on it, like maybe it's a Nike one. <laughs> because it is some companies so now we can make uh fingers so first we're gonna make a c like that we're gonna make a bigger c then we're gonna make uh three more big c's and come back okay now uh we're gonna make a kind of uh maybe what position should this batch be in a sixer uh, a defense mode, um, a one or a four. Maybe we'll do a six. Everyone enjoys sixes. So we'll make a line like this coming down and another one right next to it. It should look like he's actually holding it, you know, like this. We can make uh, two more lines coming down and curving there to connect it. Inside this, we can make a few lines. Now here, we're gonna make a line across. Now, now it looks like we're making a sword. We can make a big line coming up and just do it slowly so that you don't go too uh, wibbly and you don't make it too big. Now we can make another line coming this way and we'll go down again. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to write one of the signs that are on their back sometimes. Normally, see, uh, maybe we can make uh, SG or BASS. Let's make SG. So make an S there. And you can make a little thick if you want. You can make a, a G. Okay. Like that. Okay. SG. Now, uh, if you want, you can make a few lines here because the bat is kind of like a wooden thing. So, uh, yeah, there's some kind of hard texture on it. Now, so, now here we're gonna make 
a curved line down. So now here we're gonna make a line coming this way. And uh, now the fingers have to be a bit more smaller because uh, it's behind, you know. So first we're gonna make a small C like that, a really bump mostly. Then we can make one finger there. If you can see, it's uh, attaching the bat. As you can see there, it's attaching the bat. And uh, then we'll make one more finger if you can fit it in there and just see. See, it's kind of like fitted in there. Okay. And you can come back. Now that part was not too clear. You can pause it when I'm doing it there. See, I'm also going to give you a close up of that hand. Ooh. Okay, so now we're going to make... Uh, that's the other arm there. So we can make a line down now. Okay. And... We can make a line across to connect the uh, the t-shirt, okay. We can make a curved line across like that and a, another one right next to it. Now this is not a belt. It's kind of like a, a pad that uh, has a, stra a strap around it, around the body, okay. We can make a line down, a curve this way. And line up now here we can make an another sg because um it, it's a pad and sometimes they have names on it like my pad when i wear it has that okay so uh now we now we're gonna make uh a, a line coming this way we're gonna make a curve like this make a big line coming this way now this is another pad we're adding on the leg. Make a line coming this way. And we'll go up and curve in. Okay. Now we can make a, a few curves in there. We can make a square maybe here. And we'll make a, a small shoe here. Like that. A simple shape. And we can make a few lines in there for the laces. I don't like making those big kind of uh, curves, you know, because uh, like a lace because uh, they look really ugly sometimes. We can make uh, a few lines coming down from the shoe's bottom side and make a line coming up. Maybe uh, we can now make a line coming across, make a line coming down, coming this way and go up. Okay, you we'll make a line coming this way, a line down, coming again this way, sideways. We we'll go up again, then go a little line across for uh, connecting it. Oh, they're playing some music outside. Happy music. Now we can make a few lines here, make a square, and we can make now we can make uh, a a kind of maybe line like this. Curve it and coming back and get up. Then we can make a few lines there like we did on the other one to make those li lines beneath it. Those are kind of like some kind of, I don't know what to call them, studs. No, I think that, that's what those shoes are called. So yeah, uh, uh, now uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, maybe we could, um, I don't know what to do. Uh, oh yeah, we can make a few lines in this hand and we'll make a line here on the other hand because uh, those are gloves actually there. I forgot to uh, add a glove. We can make a line, big line here to make it look like there's actually some glove there. Okay, yeah, because they have gloves on their arms. We can make probably, probably make some design on their t-shirts because they always have some design. We can make our own flag probably. We make a line across, a line this way, or basically just make a square. So inside it, we could make maybe uh, a, an X there, like to know we're dangerous, don't come near us. You know, funny. So it can be like a dangerous team or thing. So now here we can also make writings, maybe a, a company sponsored. So uh, we could may maybe 
make our own company saying uh cross okay cross and bones cross bones so that's the company sponsored name cross bones <laughs> they're a very dangerous team don't play against them they'll hit too many sixes against you so yeah maybe we could make a ball flying in the air really high to make it look like a six so you can make a circle here and uh, inside the circle you can make a few dots like that because those dots are kind of like some kind of leather on it or something not sure and you can make two lines like that uh, to make it look like it's going from the bat and it's going high in the air, you know. That's what I do. So, it, to make it look like it's going fast too. So, um, yeah. We finished drawing our batsman. He turned out super well. Now, you can pause if you've not done anything. And now, we're also going to be coloring him. Okay. So, uh, I'll be using Prisma colors. You don't have to use them. You can use anything to color. But uh, the thing is, you don't have to add everything I've added. You can make it different. You can make the flag different. You can make the sponsor different. You can make a different bat. You can make a different everything. Different player, uh, a different uh, posture. You know, anything. But now, you know the proper thing that all over him. Now, the posture is sometimes a little hard to make for me to... Uh, yeah, so uh, this was the uh, this was the drawing. Now we're gonna be coloring with Prisma color. So I'll be fast forwarding this part in the end. You can pause the video if you want to match the same coloring. We could even do your own coloring if you wanted. It's totally cool. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start the coloring in three, two, last count is one. Okay, guys, I finished coloring my batsman. He turned out super well. Now, you could pause the video here if you wanted to match the same coloring. Or you could even do your own coloring because it's actually just a batsman. And you could be from any team. You could make him from an actual team too. Uh, if you wanted, you could change that uh, sign there if you wanted. Uh, and you could also maybe change around the... Uh, sponsoring company so uh yeah it turned out super well my batsman uh i colored it in a kind of uh what is the color called aquamarine color uh the main uh uh body part uh the t-shirt there uh, because uh, i'm not sure there's any uh, team like that who has that color so i thought hmm, maybe i'll make it that so i mean using my own uh, imagination to make that coloring and i also uh, uh used uh, different colors so uh, i uh, for the helmet i used uh kind of, uh this thing what's the gold the blue where it go wherever it went i think it was a called uh this thing called blue and i put on top of it some black so that it looks a little darker okay so uh yeah and i use a little red and blue and brown and gray uh but yeah you could use whatever you want so uh yeah i hope you liked it you can pause it if you've not paused it yet and uh subscribe to my channel Give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and check out my other videos. My latest video was, I think, The Grim Reaper. Yeah, that one was really cool. So, yeah, you can check that one out too. And also, uh, this is, I think, my first sport uh, video, uh, sport drawing, uh, sportsman drawing video. So, yeah, uh, uh, bye guys. Thank you for watching. Purchase Prisma colors and Sharpies if you want. Bye.